In your vote 2024, former President Donald Trump is coming to Flint. He's scheduled to hold a town hall at the Dort Financial Center on Tuesday. Yeah, the visit uh, marks Trump's first uh, trip to the city before since 2016, before he was elected president. Our David Sackrider spoke to ABC 12 political contributor Paul Rizicki about the visit and joins us in the studio. David, what did he have to say about the former president's trip to Flint? Retired Mott political science professor called the visit unusual, especially in a city that's seen as a Democratic stronghold like Flint. But Rosicki says it may be an attempt to appeal to undecided voters and especially those who live outside the city. It may be an attempt to kind of undo some of the effects of the debate to reach out in a town hall forum to those individuals who just may have questions to raise about what his plans are if he gets elected. Rosicki says this visit could be considered an attempt by the Trump campaign to play damage control after the debate. A town hall is different than a traditional campaign rally, but it all depends on what Trump himself has to say. Uh, if he comes across in a more toned down individual, I think yes. If he comes across as the angry Trump that we saw in the debate, I'm not so sure it helps him out in that way. Trump is expected to talk about the auto industry, a major area of concern, not just for Flint, but for Michigan at large. Republicans are billing the event as a chance for undecided voters to hear from the former president. And in a contested battleground state like Michigan, Rosicki says every vote counts. From all the indications, our Michigan is going to be a toss-up state, very close, close call, and a small handful of undecided voters, many of whom may not have even tuned into politics much at this point in the game, uh, who are starting to sort of think about it a little bit. The hope is that maybe by coming local, he'll get the attention of voters who really haven't been paying attention at all. You can still register to see the former president. We've included that information over on ABC12.com. Be sure to stay with us for complete coverage of his visit on Tuesday. In studio, David Sackreiter, ABC12 News.